Hey guys, yes, it's about to get sensual up in her. So I'm not really planning on doing a Valentine's Day book tag, I don't even know if those exist, but I have compiled a list of appropriate reading material for Valentine's Day, regardless of your relationship situation. I got all situations covered, so this is not gonna be just a warm and fuzzy, mushy-gushy romance recommends video. There's gonna be some singles awareness books up in here, some Eat Your Feelings Valentine's Day books, and of course I'll throw in some lovey-dovey books also. So first off, I'm just gonna step right into the whole cliche Valentine's Day thing and um, get my really cute contemporary book recommendations out of the way here because I feel like we all kind of can relate to these books and they're all really cute adorable YA contemporary books. The first ones that I have are the Stephanie Perkins books. I do not have Island the Happily Ever After because I'm still bitter about the cover change, but pretty much anything by Stephanie Perkins will give you the warm fuzzies and they are adorable and beautiful and really quick little contemporary YA reads, so I highly recommend these books. The next books that I'm going to recommend as far as cutesy, adorable quick reads are anything by Colleen Hoover. These two are my personal favorites by her. Um, literally anything by Colleen Hoover will make you feel warm and fuzzy, probably cry at some point, but they're always adorable. New adult, kind of YA, kind of new adult love stories about two people who both have something that happened in their past. This is a very cliche um, rendition of all new adult books. Two people who meet who both have really dark pasts and something keeps them apart and it's an obstacle that they have to overcome together. All, all of Colleen Hoover and most of YA. That's what those are. Getting into a more relatable and realistic approach to relationships that if you were in a relationship these would probably be more relatable to you than any sort of, well really any romance book to be honest. But Rainbow Rowl books are the realist relationship representations in books that I can think of. Eleanor and Park is the first thing that I read by her, and these are the most real people. They're the most realistic high school kids that are actually awkward and not as attractive as everybody seems to be in YA, and it's just the cutest relationship ever. This is, this is a heartwarming book. If you just, in general, read this book. Also, fangirl. If you're watching this video, you can probably relate to Kath because she is a book nerd and you can't go wrong with book nerds. She writes fan fiction. There's real romance in this that I feel like is the closest thing to a realistic relationship that you're gonna get in a YA book. So yeah, Rainbow Rowl books, definitely a go-to. Getting into the cheesier but still somewhat appealing romances that are in YA. I'm gonna recommend the Lux series. Not these covers because they're terrible, let's be real, but these are also relatable in that Kat, the main character, is a book blogger. Um, so if nothing else you can relate to her and also there's really hot guys in this so you, you can't really go wrong with the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Now maybe, maybe your heart's broken, maybe you just are really, really not feeling the love this Valentine's Day. And that's cool, because girl, you don't need no man, neither do these characters in these books. These are gonna be your single books that you need to go to that have nothing to do with love. If you're feeling vengeful, these are the books for you on Valentine's Day. The first book that I thought of is Virgin by, yeah, not gonna, not gonna pronounce that name because that's just gonna go poorly for me. Um, this book, don't judge it on the cover. It is not a romance story. This is the realest approach to being like a 20-something year old girl in the modern age that will make you die laughing. And girl, she don't need no man. She can figure awkward situations out on her own. Trust me, this, this book will make you laugh, if nothing else. The next book that came to mind is The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. If you're feeling like you're dipping your toes into a fantasy world, this is, this is the book for you. Um, this book definitely has kind of a love triangle, so you might be questioning why this is in this section. Trust me. Trust me. Just read it. It's quick. When you get to the end of this book, you'll understand. The next couple books that I thought of, actually, they have a romance in them, so don't judge me. But girl. Girl. 
Eon and Iona. This girl, she don't need no man. There may be a man in her life, but she don't need him. She's got dragons. And the last book that I'm gonna bring up in this section will make you swear off of relationships forever. And that is You by Carolyn Kepnis. This is the creepiest and least enticing relationship book you will ever read. This will make you never ever want to leave your house, nor meet a man, ever. Now maybe you're totally fine with your relationship status or your single life status. Maybe, maybe you are okay with the whole Valentine's Day thing and what you look forward to are the sales after Valentine's Day. And maybe you got yourself an entire Whitman sampler sitting in front of you and some Netflix on the TV and you are ready to binge. And these are the books for you. Jamie McGuire. These books, they're not great, but man are they enjoyable. They are new adult, which follows pretty much the trend of what I described new adult to be like earlier with Colleen Hoover. Yeah, just go with that. In fact, Colleen Hoover is blurbed on the cover of this one, if that tells you anything. The new adult market is very limited at this point, so they're pretty much all going to be the same thing. So you can pick up pretty much anything and get the same experience. This is case B. Same pretty much kind of similar story going on. But again, the easy duology, I guess, by Tamara Weber. Just, just binge on this. It's a guilty pleasure. Also these. These are gonna be the last ones, I promise. I just happen to have a lot of new adult books around me at this current point in time. The Edge of Never and The Edge of Always by J.A. Radmirsky. These are some of my personal favorites. I really like, well, I really like this one. Not so much this one, but this one. This one's good for you. This is a chocolate book. Now maybe, maybe you're feeling extremely guilty pleasure-ish and you have already eaten all your chocolates on the way home and you've moved on to a cup of hot chocolate with your little heart-shaped peeps floating in there and you've already binge watched all of Sex and the City. Just bust out the Twilight Man. I mean, you're already living in the world of guilty pleasures. Just go all the way in. Just go with it. Or you know, maybe you could care less about Valentine's Day and you're just reading Harry Potter for like the 27th time. That's probably what I'm gonna be doing. So that is it for my Valentine's Day book recommendations. I hope I covered all the bases. Um, if you have any recommendations as far as really good romances or maybe some really good female empowerment books for the single ladies out there, leave it in the comments for me because I would love to see what you guys think of just romance or single books. There's not that many single books to pull from as I found out doing this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.